In just under two weeks, fans can look forward to seeing basketball sensation Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever back in action on the court as the WNBA resumes its season following the break for the 2024 Paris Olympics. With the Olympic break now behind us, there has been widespread speculation regarding Caitlin Clark's well-being and whether she has had the opportunity to recuperate. However, those questions were put to rest after a recent practice session during which Clark took the time to address the media and express her thoughts on her readiness and enthusiasm for the remainder of the season. Before proceeding, I would like to emphasize the importance of liking the video and tapping the subscribe button to ensure that you stay updated with our latest content. Following the break, Clark acknowledged the significant physical recuperation and afforded her from the rigors of the season. She articulated her determination to make a comeback to the competitive arena with a revitalized sense of vitality. I am aiming to come back with increased endurance, Clark stated. I feel ready to re-engage in the game, although it's probably because it has been a central aspect of my life for the recent few years. During her time with the Iowa Hawkeyes from 2020 to 2024, the emerging star showcased an exceptional level of talent and dedication, leaving a lasting impact on the realm of women's basketball. Her remarkable on-court prowess, versatile skill set, and unwavering work ethic drew widespread attention, setting the stage for high expectations as she entered the WNBA as the top pick in the 2024 draft. Regarded as a generational talent, she was hailed as a transformative force in the league, eagerly anticipated to make a significant impact at the professional level. Amidst the weight of these expectations, Clark has unquestionably risen to the occasion, showcasing an extraordinary performance in her inaugural season. She has been instrumental in driving her team's success, boasting impressive averages of 17.1 points and 8.2 assists per game. Notably, she has emerged as a dominant force, leading the fever in both scoring and playmaking categories. Caitlin Clark has been selected as one of the rookies to join Chicago Sky forward Angel Reese in the WNBA All-Star Game roster. Amid her anticipation to get back into competition, Clark has also alluded to the ongoing discussion about who will be awarded Rookie of the Year, with Reese also being a strong contender. Reese has been making significant contributions to the Sky with an average of 13.5 points and 11.9 rebounds per game establishing herself as a key player for the team. The Indiana Fever's primary objective at the moment is to clinch a playoff spot. The team has not reached the playoffs since 2016, back when Tamika Catchings, a former MVP and 10-time All-Star, was part of the roster. In the past seven seasons, the Fever have only achieved double-digit victories twice, with a high of 13 wins in a single season. As of 2024, with 26 games played and 14 remaining, the team's current record stands at 11-15, this places them in seventh position, with only eight teams securing postseason berths. The Indiana Fever are currently in a virtual tie with the Chicago Sky, both holding a 10-14 record, but the Fever have a slight edge in percentage points. They are also maintaining a three-game lead over the ninth-place Atlanta Dream, who have a 7-17 record. As the WNBA season resumes, the Fever are focused on tightening their defense and making a strong push for the playoffs, with the leadership of Clark being pivotal in this effort. Fans and analysts alike are eager to see how Clark performs post-break, and they'll have the opportunity to do so on August 16 at 7.30 p.m. ET, when the Fever takes on the Phoenix Mercury. As the highly anticipated Paris 2024 Olympics draw near, the women's basketball team representing Team USA is garnering widespread attention as they make impressive advances in their quest for the coveted gold medal. While the team has undeniably exhibited commendable progress, there is growing scrutiny surrounding the performance of specific players, sparking renewed discussions about the notable absence of talented player Caitlin Clark. In the most recent update, head coach Cheryl Reeves' formidable team secured the top spot in Group C, remaining undefeated throughout and securing their spot in the quarterfinal round. With an exceptional performance in the group stage, the American team is now gearing up to face Nigeria in the upcoming match. Nigeria, a team that is positioned as one of the lower seeds, will face the challenge of taking on the dominating American team. The team's superiority has been clearly demonstrated in each of their games, showcasing the outstanding performance of star forwards Branna Stewart and Angel Wilson, who have emerged as the top scorers in the group stage. Both players have maintained an impressive average of 20.3 points per game, solidifying their crucial roles in the team's success. However, notable guards Chelsea Gray and Diana Touristy have been conspicuously absent from the list of top scorers in the Olympic tournament, sparking scrutiny and criticism of Clark's absence. Internet observers were swift to highlight this statistical observation, reigniting the discourse around Clark's non-participation. In a recent Twitter post, a user going by the handle StatMamba brought attention to a disheartening statistic. During the course of three games, the combined scoring output of Gray and Torresi, the starting guards for Reeves' team, was a mere four points. 
their field goal percentages were two twelfths, and they failed to make a single three-pointer, going 0-7 from beyond the arc. During the game against Germany, Gray and Torresi both played for six minutes and nine seconds. Gray managed to provide two assists and secure two rebounds, but failed to score any points. Similarly, Torresi also played for the same duration, contributing only one assist while failing to score or grab any rebounds. Despite being widely regarded as one of the top offensive guards in the WNBA, Clark was surprisingly omitted from the Olympic team, raising eyebrows among fans and pundits alike. Her standout performance has put her in contention for both Rookie of the Year and the Most Valuable Player awards. The decision to exclude Clark from the team has sparked intense debate within the sports community. Regardless of whether the team succeeds in winning the gold medal, there will always be lingering doubts about the potential impact of Clark's absence from the Paris 2024 team. Regrettably, it is impossible to definitively determine the outcome of such conjecture. That's a wrap for today's video. I hope you've been enjoying the content. If you're passionate about the WNBA, want updates on rising star Caitlin Clark, or are eager for the latest Olympic news, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more. Thank you for your support.